I believe people are medicine. I see people as medicine. I also see a circle here. I see a circle here. Today, I don't want to stand. I want to sit with you. We are in a big circle. I want to be with you. You are not in rows of seats anymore. I want you to lean forward with me. I want you to slouch back. I want you to get comfortable. Because we are in a big circle here, the sacred circle. In this circle, we're here to do what? To help someone. Sometimes people feel shame and embarrassment. Sometimes people feel lost when they believe that there's no one that are believing them. When I say lost, I'm talking about suicide ideation. Yes, I said suicide. Back to feeling lost. There is shame, there is embarrassment, there is feelings of uncertainty when we're talking about suicide ideation and feeling lost, feelings without hope. It is some of those things that are blocking others from their true purpose. There is a stigma out there about suicide ideation and feelings of suicide. Some of us don't want to talk about it and share because we feel that we are being selfish. We feel that they might think we are using this for selfish reasons to get what we want. There is a stigma out there that is blocking us from our true purpose. There is something in our circle that can help stop that shame. There is a circle, and we are here to do what in it? To help someone. With these feelings of uncertainty and disbelief, I believe that we are here to not only listen, but to believe. When we get past that part of finding our purpose, it is there that we hear someone and we feel someone passing the parts of the stigma. We are here to help someone. Summer 2014, I was back on the streets. No car, no job, no family again. Making my choice to be where I'm at. Living in my own self-destruction with addiction. Sometimes I was hungry, sometimes I was not. Either way, I didn't eat for many days. This was a night I was hungry. I jumped in a downtown trash can and looked for chicken at 4 a.m. I compiled sacks of chicken until I had one huge sack of once I had a full huge sack, I ate a couple pieces. I knew daylight was coming soon. I said, I'm going to walk to the park. My mission was to feed all the homies on the street from this huge sack of chicken. You should have seen me. I looked like Santa Claus walking with a big sack of toys on my back, but it was chicken and I wanted to feed people. Even though my mind wasn't right and neither was my tummy exactly, I was withdrawing bad. And I always liked to have that pretend smile on my face and try to make others laugh when I'm sick. I made it to the park. There were the homies, a lot of them. I said, you want some chicken? I fed everyone. I walked around the park as daylight hit me and offered everyone some food. I was happy for those that were able to eat. Some were too sick to eat. 
I felt good feeding others. This was 2014. Today I am nine years sober. Sometimes I look around and think, this is where I slept, at this part. This is where I was very sick so many times. This is where I woke up in the dark near the bathrooms in the middle of the night. This is where I borrowed other people's phone when I was thinking about quitting all this and getting my kids back in my life. This is where I was jumped before in a fight that broke my ribs, wanting for me to numb that pain in my own self-destructive way. And now this is where I like to pray and where I like to feed, to help others with a meal, to remember where I came from, and to remember to always help others. There is depression, anxieties, addictions, overdoses, poor physical health, homelessness, suicide ideation. I am grateful I am in recovery. A lot of us don't know it, but we are the prescription. When someone is in need, when someone is wounded, there is a personal prescription for them. There are some of us that don't think that we are the medicine, especially if we are feeling multiple symptoms ourselves. I found the medicines through people. There were so many times in my life that I had felt hopeless and helpless, and it all built up eventually to be in the darkest moments in my life. It took people medicine to help me realize that I am needed with purpose, to help others, my purpose. They are the food for my soul, the spiritual nourishment that I needed, and Creator worked through them. It is the people here on earth that spread these medicines when we need it. The people here on earth that also help others get through suicidal thoughts. That's the medicine. I truly know now that in our large sacred circle, we are here to help each other. According to Cross River Therapy, one in three, or up to 33% of people in the U.S. experience loneliness on a regular basis. There is medicine for that, people medicine. What I found along my journey, I didn't find it yet until someone approached me and asked me to join their people medicine. They asked me to join their purpose circle. I didn't find it when I was a juvenile with all the authoritative messages that came with me. I didn't find it in my rock bottoms with all the struggles I had through many rock bottoms and through lecturing. I found it when someone showed me and asked me to join them. That's that people medicine and that purpose circle that I've been looking for. It came when someone also asked me to feel a completely different career job. It brought me in a new direction. It brought me to places where I felt that I had been helping people all this time without knowing that I've been helping people. Sometimes it is felt in the circles when we're not feeling it. When I brought in the circle within my, to my heart, I felt that I can bring it out the same and ask others to join me. Because in the circle, we're here to do what? To help someone. It only takes one person to say, hey, how are you doing? It only takes one person to say, I see that you like to feed people. Let's do this as a team. It takes only one person to say, hey, I see that you're having feelings of loneliness, despair, hopelessness. Sometimes it takes that only one person to, re to recognize somebody that may be having thoughts of suicide. 
and it takes that one person in that moment to believe them. Struggles, adversity, all those have really shaped me into where I am today to further help others. I used that shame. I used all that have been in my lowest parts of my life to help. It did help me in a lot of ways. I have been sober for a lot of years. I've been healing, even though that all the growing that I've been doing, I still found myself to a point of helplessness. I was feeling suicidal. I was in a dark place. I felt that there was no escape. I prayed hard to my Creator. Someone seen my purpose because they came about because they came about and asked me to join their purpose circle. They came about and asked me to join their people medicine. Sometimes it takes one person, only one person, to say, let's connect. Let's do this as a team. Sometimes it only takes one person to say, hey, sis, Hey, bro, let's go eat. Sometimes it only takes one person to ask someone if they are feeling suicidal. It takes that one person at that moment not only to believe them, but to ask them to join their people medicine. I believe people are the best medicine. I do. I really believe it. There are, all those, there are all those times when I felt that there's only a bit of despair and helplessness that can go far, but when I come about that part where I'm using the shame and the embarrassment to get past because of my circle, that's where it's at. Be someone's people medicine. There is someone out there and you don't know that you have it, but they will know when they see it. Ask someone to join your circle of people medicine. Because in this circle, we are here to do what? Help somebody. Help someone. Thank you.